when you're stripping coax for all the connectors I'm going to show you, all the F connectors, the V and C's, uh, and the RCA connector, whether it's a push on to a twist on to uh, a compression, you pretty much make the exact same strip on the cable, and which is referred to as a two step strip. This is where we've got to expose a certain amount of the center conductor on the cable and a certain amount of the braiding. And uh, the industry standard has always been pretty much a quarter inch and a quarter inch on both of these, uh, if, on all these connections. So uh, we will strip our cable, and again, if we use one of our standard uh, stripping tools here, the black cartridge strips, the RG6 coax. Uh, it's got a backstop on one side so that when I insert the cable all the way through and I strip the cable, that will leave me pretty much about a quarter, maybe five sixteenths of a center conductor exposed. Uh, the tool has got two stripping blades inside of it. The one will strip all the way down to the center conductor. The other one will just take off the outer jacketing. The tools also have a tension bar in the very back of them that we make sure we insert so that it's applying some pressure to the front of the tool. It has a uh, cartridge for stripping uh, RG, uh, UTP, co uh, co uh, <laughs> UTP, UTP Category 5E cable. And uh, there is actually an insert here that we can actually use that right there to help me push sometimes a connector on the wire. So a lot of little features to that tool. But with a little tool of the blades in it, uh, we're going to set the tool, the connect, the wire into its, it's the backstop. I'm going to rotate this tool a number of turns. And the number of times you go around really depends on how sharp the blades are inside. Now when they're brand new, you could probably go around a couple times. Uh, and uh, it would be enough. And then when they're you know getting older, they might take four or five turns. And just a regular recommendation on replacing blade cartridges, we would guesstimate somewhere around over you know, three, maybe four hundred strips you might want to replace these. They're getting pretty dull. So uh, now we just take a look. We're going to apply some pressure with our other hand here, and I'm just going to remove this completely off there, and that removes the, the outer jacket and uh, the front there. And it, it creates my little two step strip. And all your F connectors require this, and all your B, the BNCs we are selling here, and the compression RCAs as well. And one of the key features is we normally will tell you to always fold this braiding back. Now the braid is a continuous thing all the way around the outer parts of this foil. And we need to make sure that's folded all the way back because when the, all these connectors have little barrels down inside of them. There's a barrel down inside of the other barrel. And what happens is that when we go to insert the connector on the wire, that braid is out of our way because that inner barrel in here is going to slip over the foil and then slip under the braid to help them make a connection. And when you insert a connector on the, uh, on the wire, because that inner barrel is in these connectors, we normally would recommend you kind of rotate them a little bit like that so we make sure it slips over that dielectric nicely and doesn't uh, peel back any of this foil. So I just kind of insert it all the way through like that. and then. Again, all these connectors like on an F connector, we're going to just push the connector all the way on until the white dielectric is even or flush with the inside of that opening, and that's uh, ready to be compressed using one of the tools. So uh, that's a basic uh, two-step uh, strip for all your uh, F connectors and uh, the BNC and the compression RCA that we're going to show you next.